Good morning. I'd like to call to order the May 16th meeting of the Hammond Board of Public Works and Safety roll call. Here. What's your name? Here. Um, here. Who do you speak with? Wendy. Just one, one Wendy. And one to indicate. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Item number four, approval of the minutes of the meetings of April 25th, May 2nd, and May 9th. I'll make a motion that we refer action on the minutes. Second. Get a chance All in favor? No. Motion passes. Item A, bid opening for the demolition work of several properties. We can just do it under um, public. We have two bids, Mr. President. It's on big agenda. Okay. First bid is from uh, Acton TRI LLC. Can you put us down? Two East Columbus Drive, okay. Chicago, Indiana. Their bid bond. Mm -hmm. Form 96. You have the conclusion <coughs> affidavit signed. And they're Total bid for all four addresses is one hundred and thirty five thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Next bid is from JM Industrial Services Incorporated, two hundred one Marble Street, Hammond, Indiana. You have to form 96. You have their non inclusion affidavit signed, and they have their bid bond. Their total bid for all four properties is $95,200. Like to make a motion, these be referred to the building department for tabulation and recommendation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item B, agreement between the Indiana Department of Transportation, the City of Hammond, and the City of Whiting for construction on Indianapolis Boulevard. Yeah, this is, this is a three-party agreement to reconstruct the section of Indianapolis Boulevard from Shrog Avenue to Five Points up in the Whiting, Robertsdale neighborhood. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the agreement. Second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Mr. DeStatney, is the civil city in any way obligated financially in this contract? Yes. The civil city is. I'm not sure now, because we do have a portion of the, the, the Port Authority may be paid. Funding formula was set up for the for the city share. Is there any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Motion passes. Item C, correspondence from Rogers Roofing, <coughs> requesting, requesting the closure of one lane of Pullman Avenue at, is that Russell Street or Sibley? It'll be between um, Sibley. Sibley and it's at 5217 Homan for one, uh, one day for facade repair. Sibley and Holmes? Yes. So they're going to have to. Not Sibley and Holmes. Yeah, State Street, Street doesn't go through, but. Well, 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 yeah, that's yeah, right at the base of Sibley. 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 Right. How long is it going to be closed? Do we know? One day, Monday, May 13th. Oh. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item D, several disposal authorizations of junk vehicles from the Hammond Police Department. <coughs> Is there 
there a motion to accept the disposal of the assets? I'll make a motion we accept. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Item E, hearing on property at 7141 McCook. We have a... <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, the apartment has hold been that, removed. Hold, hold that thought just for a second. We have a request from Efron Efron to uh, reschedule a hearing for May 30th. May 30th. Yeah. Mr. President, there's an, we're dra drafting up a document to record on the title work on the you know with the recorder's office. However, there was some discussion back and forth as to what was the degree of removal of the second floor unit. Do the cabinets have to come out, or do they just have to cap off the gas? So we're going back and forth with the attorney for uh, the property owner. So you don't have a problem. No, May 30th is fine. Set this for May 30th. Item F, 5530 Beal. We're asking for the removal of two basement apartments and one first floor apartment. The property is now vacant. You've heard the request from code enforcement. Is there a motion to approve the findings in order for the removal? I'll make a motion that we approve it. Is there a second? second? All in favor? Second. Aye. Motion passes. Item G, hearing on property at 623 to 25 Sibley. We're asking for the removal of one basement apartment in the front unit. No permits to convert. I'll make a motion that we approve it. It's been a motion made by Mr. Smith to approve the findings in order to remove an illegal basement apartment. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Item H, hearing on property at 43 Warren. We're asking for the removal of the basement apartment and the second floor apartment, convert it to a single family home. Uh, the owner is here. Sir, this is your chance to respond to the request from the city of Hammond to remove two apartments at your property at 43 Warren. Uh, sorry, first one, my English is not too good, but I want to try it out. Okay? When I buy this... Yeah, somebody here. Leave Alejandro. Would you like when, a translator? Yeah, please. I appreciate it. More better for me. This is... Oh, man. Yeah. David, este... When you bought the house in 2000? I bought two units. He bought two units. Every year, pago por dos unidades. Every year, he pays for two units. Insurance, son gran seguranza también. Insurance as well. And la casa es muy grande para mí solo. And the house is too big for him by himself. Ahora quieren que la haga familia. And now you want him to make it uh, a family size one? Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Entonces voy a tirar el basement lo que me están pidiendo, pero ahorita ando buscando precios, me cobran diez mil dólares. Y ando buscando el mejor que me convenga. He said right now he's he's looking for pricing to try to get for the, the, cheapest, um, the cheapest price they can to do what you guys are asking him to do. We just need some more time. So you're willing to comply with the request of the city? Si, si, pa, si, um, es hacen, uh, si puedes hacer lo que están pidiendo. Si, si, pero también, yes. More time is yeah. what needed. Would 120 days be sufficient to have the work completed? 120 días. Para, no, probably this one, yes. I'm going to suggest we set this for a status. We uh, entertain a motion to accept the findings in order for the removal and, it, and uh, set this for a status in September. September 19th. September 19th. Is there a motion from the board to approve the findings in order yeah, to remove the legal apartment? I'll make the motion. If he finishes before, can he just, does he just come in? Or? Call Matt. Call Matt. Yes, yeah, so you can call code yeah. enforcement. Yeah. Oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Item I. Hearing on property at 5632 Beale. You have to get reassessed. You have to go to the county and get it reassessed. Yeah. We are asking for the removal of the two basement bedrooms at this property. As far as we're concerned, they have been removed. They have been removed? Based on the testimony of the City of Hammond Code Enforcement Department, is there a motion to approve the findings in order? I approve them. Make the motion. 
motion to approve. Made a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, Item J, hearing on property at 7423 Madison. This property has already been affirmed. We're asking for a status hearing. We'll go with 120 days for the removal. 120 days? Yes. September 19th? That's fine. Thank you. Item K, we have an agreement. We have an uh, agreement, agreement on the restriction of use of the property at 4618 Pine. Attorney Cantar, have you had an opportunity to uh, review this agreement for the restriction of use of this property? Yes, I probably drafted it. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's just we're going to return it on the property. That way, no subsequent purchaser can make the claim as the previous person that was like that when I bought it. Is there a motion to approve the restriction on use agreement? So moved. Sure. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item L, hearing on the denial of the business license at Cristo Auto Sales. Interested parties, please come forward. Um, do we need them again, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does the board have the letter for the basis of the revocation? I believe, it was, <coughs> I believe it was something that came up in the background check. We continued this from last week, Attorney Cantar. Uh, um, do you have the letter from the city? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I believe the issue is that something came up in your background check. Do you have any explanation for that? Algo we known to check. Um, I would like you guys to explain me what uh, criminal records do I have? It was my understanding, sir, that you applied for a business license. The business license was denied based on um, the, the criminal background check that was completed by the Hammond Police Department. At that time, you reapplied under the name of one of your immediate family members. Is that correct? There was uh, three different applications. So I am basing right now, yes, in myself. I don't have any criminal record. And my brothers does have nothing, too. I'm sure of it. And we went to an attorney already, and he didn't find anything. So I would like to know what are those. I would like to know what are those criminal records, because we don't have any. Did your brother initially apply for the business license and was denied, and so the business license was then applied for in your the, name? The first one that applied was uh, Crystal. Christopher Franco. Okay. He was declined, but we don't know the reason. Uh, the control department say that uh, it was something and the numbers that did not match. We never get any answer. What was the reason? What was those numbers? We never knew. We came to us. Then Gilbert came to apply, and they say because he have a felony, he cannot. Uh, get that license. He doesn't have any felon. We went to the attorneys to check that. Attorneys say uh, we don't have any problem with Gilbert. But for two the things fast, I came myself to make the other application. I don't have any criminal record. I'm sure of it. And uh, I still have no my, my license. I've been paying $100 for this application. And I don't have any answer. What are those criminal records? I don't know what to do. Who is going to be operating the business? I'll be. Well, they was first. Who's they? My brothers. Okay. But right now, like uh, controller's office say that if I come to court, they may say, uh, well, we don't want to see your brothers in here. So I have no choice. I have to be here, but I don't see the reason why they could not be in the business helping me. They are okay. They have no problem with the law. Okay. Well, Mr. Franco, we're going to have an answer right now on why your business license was denied. Even if Gilbert have any problem, he fixed it already in the past, and if he still have any. He wants to fix anything, but he wants to know 
What is the problem? My father owns the property. The property has been sitting there like for years, just paying taxes, property taxes, but doing nothing else. What do you currently do for a living, Mr. Franco? Excuse me? What do you currently do for work? Uh, I work for a car lot, is what I do. Where at? Uh, Chicago, and I had a car lot before, like last, last year. I closed that car lot at 1113 Hammond, Indiana. Never had any problem with my background. So if, you, if we allow you to open, if, if we approve your business license, will you continue to work at your car lot in Chicago? No. I will be coming to work in here. Do you own your car lot in Chicago? No. You work for That's another just, owner? Uh, yeah. I mean, and that's a part-time, not even a full-time. Who denied him? Is this a zoning issue? It's, it's not one of mine. So you see, they denied him. I've been paying for the applications, can be declined, and everything. What's the location of the property? 5719 South Calumet Avenue. What's the address again? 5719 South Calumet Avenue. Right across the street from City Hall. Yes. Is this currently a car lot? It is. It's, yeah, it's on the corner. I am Victor Franco. Based on the testimony from the city and Mr. Franco, sorry, is there a motion from the board to grant or deny his appeal? I don't think I have enough information to make a decision. Is there a, is there a building on that lot? It is the, the full parking lot and beside there is a the north. There's a there's a building. I know that, but is that well, part of yours? On that side, on that side of the property, there is a building, empty building too. Is that part of the property? Yes, but that has nothing to see. There's an not, nothing to do with the um, parking lot. How are you gonna? How, but how are you gonna run a car lot if you don't have a building to go into and come out? Are you gonna be sitting in a car? Or? There is an office, and I don't know what is the reason of this. Uh, I mean, you can uh, make any question you want. I understand that, but like the, the, like the, the car lot been working all these last years, I want to keep working like the same way. There is an office, everything to work on the car lot, all the needs. Who told you you were denied? The, the Carol, Mrs. Carol, downstairs in the controller's office. And i like to know who was the officer that denied my application because it was three. I've been paying for the three of them. And like now, I see there was no reason, so the, what happened with that? The history of this case is that Wait, Mr. Franco's I mean, brother applied for the Mr. Franco's brother was denied based on his criminal background check. Is that what you're doing? This Mr. Franco applied. This Mr. Franco has a clean background check. Mr. Franco has a clean background check. The business license was denied because we weren't sure whether it was going to be the Mr. Franco with the criminal background that was going to be operating the business or this Mr. Franco that does not have a criminal background that was going to be operating the business. Who's going to own this business? I will. Who's going to work there? I will. Just you? Okay, if you guys say just me, I have to do just me, but I would like to be like a family working in the business. I mean, what about your brother with the criminal record? That's who they don't want there. 
Okay, uh, the thing is, what is the criminal record? Because we, we never find nothing. Mm -hmm. If you say you don't want him, okay, he's not gonna be there, but I need to fix his criminal record. What is that permit? I need to, I need to know what he needs to, to fix. You need to go to the police station and have him run a background check. Go to the police station and ask him to run a background check and you, you can see what his convictions are. Okay. Then he's not gonna be there. But what about the other? Christopher. It's not our job to look at the property. It's the zoning. Do you have a criminal record? No. Okay. They already have. Otherwise, they would be here. So. Is the board going to grant or deny the license? I'll make a motion we approve. Approve what? The license. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Your appeal is granted. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen with the. Uh, the other application that I had to pay, like the one for Christopher's. I don't know who Christopher is, sir. He, he pays his, um, for the application. If another individual applied for a Hammond business license, <coughs> that business license will be dealt with with that individual. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Can he go now or does he need to wait for the order? He needs to wait for the order, otherwise they won't issue it. So it can be oh, Item N, we have an agreement with third district councilman Higgs and the park department um, to transfer seventy-three thousand dollars for playground equipment at King Park. Is there a motion to approve the transfer? So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item passed. Item. Item O, garage sale permits for approval. Make a motion we approve the permits. And I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Item P, we have a correspondence from our personnel officer indicating that Leanne Munoz is the registered purchasing agent for the Human Relations Human Resources Department. We'll note that for the record. Do we have any matters from other board members? I have two. I have a request that was received too uh, late to get on the agenda from Alvarez Law Firm, and it's for a, a Hammond Business License Revocation Hearing for Star Foods. It's originally scheduled for May 16th and they want to change to August 1st. I think the problem is that on June 30th, all of the licenses expire if they haven't been renewed by then. And I don't know if there, there's probably nobody here from Alvarez. Is there a July date we would like to move this well, to? Mr. Uh, President, June date. Yeah, Mr. President, we could do it June 27th, although that's the demo date, or in the alternative, we just do not issue a 2013 license for Star Food until we complete the hearing in August. June 27th is the demolition date? Yeah. Is there a motion to set this for June 27th? And notice, notice the parties are the same? Uh, yes, I'll uh, make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second item I got is, an, is a request for an emergency demo at 4928 Pine. And I think you've seen the pictures. Even though it looks like somebody's already yeah. doing the demo. Well, yeah. It's in a building, it looks like it's partially disassembled. It's just the notion of a house in that it's completely open to elements on four sides. The roof does look new, however, but it appears somebody had attempted to uh, rehabilitate the property and then just gave up and walked away. The problem being also they left an enormous pile of debris in the yard and no progress has been made on this property. And these pictures were taken in March and it's only substantially worse. And based on the condition of the property and the fact that there is uh, a suspected arsonist running around destroying uh, abandoned buildings, 
the city does not want to wait until June 27th to have this property ordered demolished. And so I would ask that today that the board affirm the demolition of 4928 Pine, and I will prepare findings in order for the board to sign. I'll uh, make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. The emergency demolition order is in effect for 4928 Pine. Is there any other matters from other department heads? Is there any new rural business? Yes, I got one. Um, we won't be able to have a Board of Works meeting next week because two of us won't be available. Mr. Smith has indicated there will be no meeting of the Board of Public Works and Safety on Thursday the 23rd due to lack of a quorum. Is there any other new or old business? Item 10, public expression. The meeting is now open to the public. Anybody from the public wishing to address the board, now is your opportunity to do so. <coughs> Mr. President, Attorney Sachs is here. He, I thought he was supposed to be on the agenda for today, but apparently did not make the agenda. He has actually a rental appeal. Yeah. Good morning. Um, the, the facts of the case are rather simple, and um, rather than having a, a legal excuse, we're asking the board to exercise its discretion in a difficult situation. Um, the um, my client's husband, who had taken care of the property for many years, for 18 years, uh, passed away in January of the year, and this situation fell through the cracks. She's asking that the board allow her to pay the $80 and waive the fine. It wasn't intentional, and um, so I'll just leave it to you. If, if, if the uh, board can find it in its power to do this, then we, it would be much appreciated. President, this is Juanita's file, and I think she has some information. Hi. Um, this property came to my attention because I mm. uh, got a complaint that the roof was leaking and uh, that uh, the owner wasn't doing anything for that total to put a bucket there. I do have an inspection in that unit for next mm. next week. However, after check background check, and have not been registered since 2010. Uh, I did speak to the owner, mm. and she agreed to pay the 2013 and come to the board hearing on this. The chief of inspection action that we continue this until next week so we could do some research on the property. I, uh, well, week after next. I, I'd like to introduce uh, this uh, death certificate, her husband's death certificate, um, for the board's review. It shows this death was uh, very close. May I approach? Yes, please. Very close. All due respect, if he died this year, the property still have not been registered since as far back as 2010. Well, we, we, you know, this is one of these, one of these situations where the widow um, really had no control, and she's asking for consideration now. It's as I stated in the beginning, it's not a legal excuse, but the, if the board can exercise some discretion, this might be a situation in which it's warranted. Is this a single-family home? Yes. What's the address of the property? The address is 7411 Madison. And what is your request? Is it to waive the late fees? From if we could waive the late fees for through, through the present? Right. So 2010 and 11 and 12? Because you're going to get 13 then? She's not even registered for 13. No, she has not did it as of yet. I don't know that she's able to register it yet for 2003, but we could certainly do it instant, instantly. <clears throat> the request of Attorney Sachs is to allow his client, <clears throat> the property owner and landlord at 7411 Madison, to register the unit at the regular rate of $80 for 2010, $80 for 2011, $80 for 2012, and $80 for 2013, waiving all late fees. Is there a motion to yeah. grant that appeal from the board? I'll make a motion and we approve it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Your appeal is granted, and total fees for registration amount to $320. Thank you very much. We'll get that taken care of uh, rapidly. Thank you.
there any others for public expression? Um. Uh, good morning. Uh, Mr. Reyes had a hearing last week Thursday, and he did not have a translator. He wasn't able to um, communicate that he has a two unit. It's a storefront and a rental on the second floor. Matt inspected it on March 26th, and um, on the hearing, since he wasn't able to, they, they proved that there was water usage because he waters his grass and has some plants there. Um, he believes it was unfair and he wanted to appeal because the storefront has been vacant since he purchased the property in 2006. And this is in reference to 629 Goslin. He wanted to know if it would be possible to waive those um, late fees because he it's, it's been vacant. That storefront has no business license. Matt is proof he was there on that date, and it, it's unfair. Ma'am, um, I don't know what your relationship is to the gentleman, but his case was heard, tried, and adjudicated last week, so his appeal process is no longer through this board. Okay. Um, well, even for, the, for this year, 2013, his storefront is not a rental and he's being asked to pay as a rental. Okay, I, I, again, the gentleman's case was adjudicated last week by this board and your appeal process is no longer through this board. Okay, then I guess he would have to appeal um, as, well, well next time he should ask for a uh, translator because his, he, he was, the, the finding was unjust due to the lack of communication. And on, on the form, it does say that the storefront is vacant. Thank you. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I have things I'd like to uh, touch base with you guys. I don't know where else to go. Um, two of them is about permits. One is I have a business located at 6612 Kennedy Avenue. It's Night Star Enterprises, which is a, a like a thrift store and resale shop. And, that, and I wanted to see about getting a permit for a sidewalk sale. Uh, I do have space outside the sidewalk, which is brick. There is where I thought I could set up my um, stuff for a sidewalk sale. And I was told to come here to find a out about narrow that. narrow area between the sidewalk and the curb? I would say it's about... Uh, maybe four or five feet. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to put out there is like a table with things on it and maybe some chairs. Do you have a parking lot? No. If I had a parking lot, uh, I, I would, you know, put it in there, but I don't. Yeah, there is a parking line. Is this going to be a, um, a, a short event? Yes, yes. How, how Pro, I, I'm hoping to have it like three days. So I thought I would have, have it like... requesting permission to potentially uh, block the sidewalk and or use the right of way for three days? No, it would just be the, the outside brick part. The right of way? Um, and what are the three days you're going to be having your event? I would have it uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yep, Saturday, Sunday, Monday coming up? Yes, if possible. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. 
this coming Saturday? Yes. I tried to make it last last uh, <laughs> Thursday, but it, uh, since I am in a wheelchair and everything, it's kind of hard to get uh, rides. It's uh, awful limited right away. Is, um, is there a potential that you may be able to uh, hold your sale in, a, in another weekend, maybe the following weekend, so that the engineering department can have an opportunity to send a representative out and ascertain whether it's going to be safe to have items on the right way that close to the, the traffic. Probably, center. probably. I, I, I just wanted this weekend because uh, I'm totally free and uh, I'm going to have help. Um, I'm also visually impaired and I have to do it when I've got help that can see the pricing and things like that for me. I hate to ask you guys this, you know, this short of notice, but that's why I was trying to have it for this weekend. Our main concern is the, the, the width of the sidewalk. Uh -huh. People not being able to walk by. That's our main concern is blocking the whole sidewalk. We have, we'd no, like to they, they would be walking. The sidewalk is right directly in front of my business. And then from there, there's no grass or anything. It's from the sidewalk out. So if the somebody curb. parks there and they want to get out of their car, you're going to have stuff so they can't open their door. <coughs> really not a lot of room there. Well, uh, uh, the only business that is operating on Saturday in that is the one that's across a driveway north of my my uh, place. That is a, a nails uh, thing and they have they've been using the driveway for their people to park in. We, can we do postpone this for two more weeks? We need to have our engineer, engineering department to look at it to make sure there is enough room. There might be with parking issues, and we just okay. want to make sure the sidewalk's wide enough that we can, as opposed to having. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I have a big driveway and everything at my house, but that wouldn't mean carting all my stuff. I understand. <laughs> as opposed to having you come back, uh, is there a motion that we could entertain from the board to grant her request subject to the approval of? A member of our building department or uh, I'll make that motion thank, thank you. you engineering department coming and approving the, yeah. the site For this and I, I was also going to go ahead and uh, ask my neighbors if they would agree to not park in front of my place just you know for uh, the three days because next door to me is a church and then the other businesses that are located there, the buildings. You own this building, right? No. Oh, this is somebody else's building? Yes. Did you want to set up in front of? Yeah. Did you rent, you rent the building? I rent the building. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's been motioned by Mr. Smith to approve her request subject to the approval of the engineering department for right of way and passage. Okay. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, one other thing. And this, I don't know if you guys can handle it or not, except I am handicapped. The city this past year put me a handicap ramp in. I live at once on 165th Street, 2830. I have big curbs where I cannot use the public sidewalks to go in my wheelchair from my house to um, Kennedy Avenue because there is no access to sidewalks. I'm having to have people push me in the street. I have called several times to Mr. Hinosa, to other people connected with the city to come out and look at my, the condition of those 
big curbs, and they're great big round curbs that goes between my driveway and the next door driveway. Also, at the intersection? No, this is right by my house, right in front of my house. There's only two houses, yours and one right next door, right? The old apartment building is gone now? Absolutely. And, and between my house and the next house, to the west, there's great big brown yellow curbs and my wheelchair. Okay, ma'am, I, I, I may have a solution if uh, the board would entertain a motion to forward your request to Brian Poland, who is currently uh, compiling an ADA transition plan for the city where he'll identify barriers um, and then compose a plan to mitigate those barriers, we may be able to do something about your issue. I, I'd really appreciate it because, like I say, I'm having to walk out in the street uh, to, to go to Kennedy Avenue, you know, because the car lot's there and all these big curbs. And Make the, a motion that we order a request to Mr. Poland to review the 2800 yes. block of 165th Street. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you so Thank much. You. you said you had three things. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else for public expression? Councilman Higgs. Good morning. Uh, Councilman Higgs, who has game? 1047, I think you got a document, but 1047 um, Moss Street has been vacant for a long time, and it really needs to be demoed. It's right on the corner, and it really looks bad, and uh, it's falling apart. So I'm trying to get it torn down as quickly as possible. And I had also requested at the council meeting a copy of all the demo properties um, um, that's on the list for the demos so I can get an idea because I plan to do an analysis throughout my district to look at every property to see where which ones need to be torn down. So I need a list of what you have so I can compel it together. Mr. Cook, do you know if 1047 Moss is currently on the demolition list? It doesn't ring a bell, President, but I'll check on it. Okay. Do you have any reason to believe it is, Councilman? I don't know, but it's been that way for quite some you time. Who owns it? Since you know everybody over here, you don't know who owns it? I don't know who owns it. <laughs> is there a motion from the board to. Make a motion that we ask the building department to look at code. code. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Is there anybody else from the public wishing to address the board? Seeing as none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye.